Lindrick Golf Club location in England The 12th Ryder Cup matches were held 4 October 5, 1957 at Lindrick Golf Club near Worksop, England. The Great Britain team, led by Captain Di Reese, beat the United States team by a score of 7.5 to 4.5 points, and won the Ryder Cup for the first time since 1933. On the first day of competition was the Americans dominated the foursomes, winning three of the four matches. Dick Meyer and Tommy Bolt 7-5 and five win over Britain's Christy O'Connor and Eric Brown was the largest margin of victory on day one. The British rallied on the second day of competition, starting with the first two singles matches. Brown recorded a 4-3 and three victory over Bolt, and Peter Mills defeated U.S. Captain Jack Burke Jr. to draw Britain level at 3-3. The Americans responded when Fred Hawkins won his match against Peter Alice, however Britain won the next four matches. Great Britain won the Ryder Cup when O'Connor defeated Dow Finsterwald, giving the British team seven points. Harry Bradshaw and Meyer have the final singles match to bring the final score to seven and a half to four and a half, with Britain gaining six and a half points in the eight singles matches. Dyrese therefore became only the third, and final, captain of the Great Britain side to lift the Ryder Cup as winning captain. Great Britain would never win the Ryder Cup again, and the Great Britain and Ireland team that competed in 1973, 1975 and 1977 never won the cup. It would not be until 1985 that a non-American would lift the trophy. The Ryder Cup is a match play event, with each match worth one point. From 1927 through 1959, the format consisted of four foursome matches on the first day and eight singles matches on the second day, for a total of 12 points. Therefore, six and a half points were required to win the cup. All matches were played to a maximum of 36 holes. The event was financially supported by Sir Stuart Goodwin, a Yorkshire steel industrialist. He had sponsored a foursomes tournament, the Goodwin Foursomes Tournament, in 1952, 1953 and 1954 with prize money of £3,000 and another in 1956, the Stuart C. Goodwin Tournament, with prize money of £5,250. The £5,250 was the largest ever for a British golf event surpassing the £3,750 of the 1956 Open. All the tournaments were held in the Sheffield area, the 1953 event being held at Lindrick. He offered the PGA £10,000 to host the match at Lindrick, the gate money going to the PGA who were responsible for all payments in connection with the match. With gate receipts of £16,127 the £10,000 donation enabled the PGA to make a record profit of about £11,000 out of the event. He later made a gift of £5,000 to the R&A to help promote the Walker Cup and games with Commonwealth countries. In 1959 Goodwin sponsored the Sherwood Forest Foursomes Tournament, which had prize money of £2,100. Goodwin was president of Lindrick Golf Club from 1958 to 1960. In 1960 Lindrick hosted the Curtis Cup. Goodwin gave the Ladies Golf Union a gift of £2,000 to help stage the event and also guaranteed the LGU and Lindrick Golf Club against financial loss. Goodwin was a vice president of the LGU. Source, a new system of selection was used for the Great Britain team. A point system based on performances over a two-year period ending after the 1957 Open Championship was used. Winners of the 1957 Open Championship and the 1957 News of the World match play were guaranteed places provided they were British. The remaining places to complete the team of 10 were selected from the points list. Following the 1957 Open, nine places were finalized, the leading nine in the point list, Brown, Wheatman, Bradshaw, Boosfield, Alice, Reese, Faulkner, O'Connor and Hunt. Mills was 10th in the list. Reese was again chosen as the captain. With O'Connor winning the news of the world match play, Mills became the last member of the team. The 1957 Amateurs Professionals match was played at Lindrick in early August. It was intended that the match would be between the Ryder Cup and Walker Cup teams, to give both teams some competitive experience and for the Ryder Cup team to gain experience of the Lindrick course. In the event, two of the Ryder Cup team, Christy O'Connor Sr. and Harry Wheatman were ill and replaced by Eric Lester and local professional, 49-year-old Jack Jacobs. 18 hole scores, Ford slash Finsterwald, 1-up, Boosfield slash Reese v. Wall slash Hawkins, All Square, Kroll slash Burke, 1-up, Meyer slash Bolt, 3-up. 18 hole scores, Brown, 4-up, Mills, 5-up, Hawkins, 1-up, Boosfield, 5-up, Reese, 4-up, Hunt, 1-up, O'Connor slash Finsterwald, 
all square, Meyer, one up. At a meeting on 21st of October, Harry Wheatman was suspended by the executive committee of the PGA for 12 months. This was following his actions after being left out of the second day singles matches. Wheatman had declared that he would never play in any Ryder Cup again if Reese were the captain. Wheatman was unable to play in PGA events. The decision was upheld at the annual meeting of the PGA in November. Following an appeal from Reese, the PGA lifted the suspension on April 17, 1958. Each entry refers to the win loss half record of the player. Source Thanks for watching.